guys actually winning uh, this kind of festival worldwide um, uh, reco recognition because I, for example, um, didn't see in my country uh, the uh, Romania the wrestler or Lebanon or other movies that won the Venice Film Festival, and on the other hand, uh, uh, like crappy films that you see in uh, multiplex cinemas did are not festival cinema, uh, festival movies, but they are more visible than the f movies that win si uh, such kind of festival. Thank you. You will see this year's win winning film of Cannes Film Festival, which is another example why festivals like Cannes should exist, and they must exist, is this Thai movie of Api Chupong, whatever his last name is, I'm sorry, which is absolutely uh, is a UFO. You don't know where this film comes from. And this is something, then again, human beings selected it and human beings were judging it. And Tim Burton is somebody who was the president of the jury, and I think with another president of the jury, maybe this film would have no chance at all. But with the jury as it was, this film won. And the same sales agent who has our film has that film too. A and I think he was the most surprised one among all that they won. And, and, and I think that, and, 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 and I, I can't say how much I appreciate when the festival choose a film like this and then on the top of it that it wins. Because otherwise I think that this film would have 300 admissions worldwide. While now it has a chance to have much more. Uh, and the winning uh, a festival makes the film automatically commercial? It doesn't, but it makes it much more potentially commercial than it would be without. Um, when you said like uh, in Sarajevo they, w they were um, um, media from variety or whatever, and they didn't actually understood the film. Is it a matter of translation also? Because I know like it's difficult to translate like uh, Bosnian language, you know? I understood your film and I thought the translation wasn't that good while looking at the subtitles in English. The translation here was the best we could have and the reaction of the audience convinced us that it was a good, very good translation. And the, the question, you know, uh, this is also a comedy, and we know that the comedies are most difficult to travel. And the reaction of the audience, they were laughing nearly in the same way as they were laughing in Sarajevo. With your first film, No Man's Land, um, I believe it's the most awarded debut film ever, but um, do you think the, um, what do you think was the biggest um, kind of thing that helped you, was it the, the Oscar or all the awards you won throughout the festival? What was what? What, what, was, what helped most to, to kind of expose you? Do you think the, the Oscar was, was the, the best thing that brought you to the public or was it the festivals? Yeah. Uh, I ju just to, to, s to answer, I think the problem in Sarajevo was actually that the press watched the film in the National Theatre. They all invited to this, you know, to make a red carpet. But ba basically, it's the worst projection ever because theater, national theater, is not made for the film. So I just realized. Mickey told me yesterday that you know he he saw the film now and he was like, "Wow, this is not." I, I saw the film and I was like, "But you saw it in Sarah? I said, "No, I s we saw it. It was really bad and sound was bad and you know people just moving in the chair. You know how theater is. Somebody moves and uh, everything is." So I th I think I'm gonna propose to Mira to you know stop the red carpet and stop seriously. I mean it doesn't it doesn't help you when you when you have film you wanted to you know. Mira you is want the director of the Sarajevo. Yeah, director. sorry, Mira is the director. Uh, as as for your question, I you know I don't know what. I mean there is film and there is me. Of course, when I won an Oscar, you know suddenly like everybody starts taking you seriously. Like oh my god. Whatever, you know, you're saying before and after, but everybody looks at you in a different way for some weird reason. Uh, I think Cannes was, you know, was really the thing that, that, that did it for No Man's Land. I mean, as, as Chadimi said, I arrived on Thursday 
morning I had six interviews you know in in front of me and I was supposed to stay a day and a half and then the film happened and then it just exploded mm-hmm. and I had to stay four days and I spent four days doing interview one after another and as he said um, it was really astonishing thing you know I didn't exist in a world of cinema before that and you know two days later there were 30,000 pages on web uh, and to answer it to your question I mean there are already web festivals but you know going to cinema is something it's a social event you know I'd, 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 I think I've seen people watching for example no man's land all alone and watching it with public and it's as if one person in public recognize what you're doing he kind of gives the key to everybody else. It's a really weird thing. People watching All Alone, No Man's Land, they wouldn't even laugh. They wouldn't know how. To, some people wouldn't know how to react. Even, you know, d- should could they laugh? Is it you know, should they laugh? Could they laugh? Is it okay to laugh? But then in cinema, one person or two starts laughing, and everybody goes and follows. So festivals are really important. You know. When you're a filmmaker, it's really, uh, I mean, it's a place where you can get destroyed, of course, and it's a place where you can just go up. And you just never know. You just never know what's going to happen. I was so sure of some of my films. You know, I never expected, I mean, I, I didn't have any experience before No Man's Land. So when these things happened to me, I was thinking like, oh, you know, 15 minutes standing ovation in Cannes is a normal thing. You know, it happens to everybody. And then, you know... A year later, you come back with another film, and as everybody starts leaving after half of the film, you're like, "What? What? 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 what, what, what? You d- no, you shouldn't do that. You should, you should give me 20 minutes." So, but that's the game, you know. That's the game you play, and as I say, even even bad sound can destroy your film. Sometimes, so th- I think they are really, really important, and there are festivals that filmmakers l- prefer than the others. I, for example, love very much Telluride Film Festival, which is not important film festival, but it's great for filmmaker because you go there and there are just movie guys and there's no press, and there are no agents, no flash. You just go and see films and you see fi- other filmmakers. But festival like this, well, you know, last night we sold our film in few countries thanks to this screening. So if if it if it didn't exist, I don't know how these people would see this film, how they buy it, you know. But so this is. Yeah, and this is what is really important. You know, when these people come to see and they see public react, they go like, "I wanna, I want this." So festivals are extremely, extremely important, and this is why everybody's fighting to to come on them. And you know, you know, as 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 you know, Venice, Cannes, Berlin, Toronto, just to name a few.